Return. Your girl got shit to do. Morning. Welcome to your not vlogmas daily NYC vlog. Today is a nice one. Um, I'm going downtown. I have some stuff to return. So you're going to see like Soho and um, maybe even more downtown like financial district because the first day that the hourglass cosmetics like flagship so store is open i'm really excited to see it i'm going down to basically do an instagram takeover and they've got so many followers so it's a lot of pressure but actually one of my like strong points as like a influencer is doing takeovers for brands they always seem to really love them I have a lot of fun and it's like high energy and yeah it's gonna be exciting i've done my makeup mostly hourglass you know in honor of that excuse the mess i'm running around like a headless chicken this morning but you can't even see my outfit that well but i'm wearing like the um sheer h&m top i got a couple of hauls ago it's like this really weird rough fine knit but it looks good so i'm gonna roll with it it's got these like really like witchy wintery sleeves but I like how they um poke out over my blazer and I think when I'm like pointing at things in the store it'll look like I don't know that's the way my brain works so yeah we're kind of business on top and then I've just got like mom jeans and like leather like misguided like flat forms but they're super comfortable and I haven't worn them in ages and they're like they're a bit more put together than trainers and um, I just kind of want to stay a bit bit cash a bit cash you know what I mean so yeah we better get going Ooh, super brisk today, but it feels so good. Thankfully, the snow didn't stick. There's still a little bit of it left, and there's people scraping the roads, but I'm so happy that it's sunny. It's still pretty cold, but the good thing about New York is even in winter, there's always, always sun and not a cloud in the sky somehow, so it really helps with your SAD or your SAD. You know, that like light emotion thing, so that's good. Yeah, I'm just pretty glad it's not as bad today because your girl got shit to do. on a Sunday it's a little bit more chill better during the week but I still like it on a Sunday for some reason just popping up a couple of streets now up to Crosby Street where the new store is I made it to the hourglass store it looks so good like how bomb is this lighting though so so contemporary really slick and like the most gorgeous collection of succulents to complement the products ever I mean talk about drawing me in I'm gonna be getting like a little bit of a day to night makeup transformation in a second so that is why my makeup's kind of light today but i'm really excited the girls are all like hiding back there <laughs> so chanel has brought out the eyeshadow palettes for me because they drew me in straight away and we're gonna have a little play around with them see what we come up with see i feel like i always gravitate to bright gel and lip liner okay Mostly this palette, it's called Exposed. Oh. So this oh, is the shade in your crease. It's, it's really kind of like a mm -hmm. What I used is actually like a midnight blue color. Super subtle. Oh, yeah. It's super subtle, which I like because it's not like love in your it. face I was blue. I you would do something like that. So Chanel just finished with my makeup and I love it. It's sort of like almost like a 60s vibe. But I really love how like the cool tones are bouncing off like the warm makeup I had. And um, there's like, I don't know if you can see, but the liner that's on my eyes is like a midnight blue shade. I adore it. Ah, oh, it looks so good. I feel like I need to go somewhere. Church bells, not something you'd expect to hear in Soho, but hey ho. Look at Christmas Day. So I'm just on the corner of Prince and Mott. I love it down here. I've heard good things about this store, but oh my God, the queue, it must be brand new. I'm actually looking forward to checking out Everlane when it's a bit quieter. I've heard really good things from TJ, um, who's super cool YouTuber, very like minimal 
style and makeup, um, go check her out because I met her on the very free trip and she's awesome. But I think her and Anna from the Anna Edit always talk about Everlane, so you need to check them out. I actually love this area, it's full of like really nice boutiques and shops and it's it's no Lisa, but I mean it practically feels like Soho. It's like a skip and a jump from Soho. Yeah, it's a good like wandering area. I just come out of Diptyque, I made a return, but I'm actually kind of like pissed off with their like their returns policy because the little card that they leave at the till is really fine print and it's kind of misleading because the first line puts you into this comfort zone that you can return things within 14 days but you actually can't it's only like store credit or exchange which i know when you're in europe i think that's illegal i think like you should be entitled to a refund with a method that you paid so I'm a little annoyed because I bought another gift there for someone and then I realized that was just way too much money to spend on that person you know it's a lot of money and uh, but luckily I wanted a candle from there anyway I really don't need another candle but I've had my eye on their New York candle which I will show you now so this is the candle I got it's the Diptyque New York candle it's an exclusive to New York well that's what they told me I don't think you can get it anywhere else but it's so good it smells like sexy man but very nostalgic of New York also. I don't know whether to keep it until I leave New York so that it really reminds me of here, but it's too good. It's like, oh, it's really, really, it's my second favorite candle after the Burberry Black Amber. I would recommend it. If you're in New York, pick it up. I'm pretty hungry, so I'm gonna pop in really quick to, what's it called again? To Combi in Nolita. Such a good taco place. God, they're so filling like even one is enough but yeah there's like way more stores open here now there's a Cezanne down there which I still don't get the hype with but I'll give it a chance now I need to hop on the train again I'm gonna get the ore down to Cortland Street which is basically like the Oculus oh, oh. again because I need to nip back to Century 21 return the bag about my mom because of course she wanted the cheaper one that literally cost a fraction of the price of the one I bought her so I need to return that and get a couple of more presents oh not too manic not too bad success i think i just about finished the rest of my christmas shopping oh and i'm so happy about it got a right few bags so i did this view of the oculus and the freedom tower never gets old it looks so good architecture is just such a statement and it's like something that you might find in like japan or singapore it's incredible i absolutely love how it looks i love being down here and seeing it i didn't show you around century 21 too much because you would have seen it in one of my other recent vlogs uh the first time i was down here with kaha boom i'm back in the apartment i was actually out for five and a half hours so i'm absolutely knackered now but the work doesn't stop here i feel like i the vlogging took a lot, a lot out of me today. But since it wasn't that windy today, it didn't ruin my hair and my makeup. So while it's on my face and it looks nice, I am going to film a video. So I'm going to sneak a little video into my evening, do some editing. I actually have to probably change for that video again, but I just have to get into like my PJs for five minutes. I mean, you guys always ask about these. It's just a Primark set. They don't come together. The shorts I just like picked separately um, from the top, but I thought they looked good. A sensible thing to do at this time of the day would be to have dinner, but I have such a craving for strawberries. Or hey, you guys might not know this. I only started eating strawberries like two months ago. The seeds that are on the outside of strawberries and passion fruit and yeah just anything with like wet and seeds in it but now I love them. I've given it a couple of years and I love strawberries now so they're like my new favorite thing and I just really want to have them with some of this uh, peanut butter chocolate like overnight oat situation which I got in my last vlog and then I'll just have like a small late dinner later on maybe around eight o'clock I'll have like some broccoli and 
maybe just a little bit of um, that sweet potato Trader Joe's gnocchi. So I'm gonna eat this and then I'm gonna show you what I got in Century 21. Ooh, that's a bit bright, isn't it? Oh my God, I look like a shirt sure with this spotlight. Let me turn this down. So what I got, um, I didn't get, now that I look at it, I didn't get too much. I feel like I was picking up a lot of things and putting a lot of things back and like changing my mind. I must've been in there for like an hour and a half, two hours. Luckily, I found the Nine West bag she wanted. It was super cheap as you can see. I'm not gonna show you the price of everything just because these are gifts. I don't know who's watching my videos, but let's just say I only spent $130 in total, which I'm so chuffed about. I got my mom a pair of sunglasses from Calvin Klein. They have a really big sunglasses collection. And then I also finally got my boyfriend's brother something. My boyfriend has such a big family, so I have quite a lot to, of people to shop for. And I always find the boys are the hardest. So I got, the, I was gonna get them the same thing. Um, Century 21 also do like a really good range of fragrances. They're not like super, super cheap, but I really liked this kind of size. Burberry London, it's like a fabric. Um, packaging it's super nice and it smells really really good you know they're both like young men now and they're kind of like into girls and they have girlfriends and i just thought what's better than like a guy smelling nice i'm totally not a snob with designer outlets like century 21 because i always want to get people like good presents and if i can get them better value like okay let's say i have a budget of 30 or 40 dollars for somebody you no know, it's just smart shopping and the person you're buying for gets a better present for the amount of budget you have so i'm happy for once i feel a little bit organized now the last two years i've been so not on it and i'm usually really good it's like one of my favorite things to do but i've just been so busy last of my amazon christmas presents have arrived like thank god for amazon so i bought myself the zion crane it's basically the stabilizer gimbal like three axis gimbal that i used to film um like my last couple of lookbooks but up to this point i was kind of just borrowing my friend's one and i figured i would just finally buy my own because amazon had a little bit of a sale on them and they are a lot cheaper than they were last year so so happy to have this it's definitely going to improve um, my videos i wish i could vlog with it but it's honestly just too much of a rig and it's so anti-social so i'm going to keep it for like special videos and like product shots and stuff but it's definitely going to up my content which i'm happy about um, I'll leave a link for it down below. So yes, happy Christmas to me. Everything else I got off Amazon. I went on an Amazon spree last night. I got loads of tech bits and stuff that I think was really, really good value because Amazon, even though it's not Black Friday or anything, they're doing really great offers. They're like, um, there's at least 30% off on most of the Amazon products, like fire sticks and like fire tablets and like um, Amazon Echo Dots. I just need to get one or two things. I need to get Kahal's presents. We're not spending a crazy amount on each other. We're just spending, I think we gave each other like a hundred pound limit this year. The last like year or two hasn't, like we usually spoil each other like crazy, but the last two years we both had other things to save up for and other priorities. So we've kind of like taken it back quite a few notches, but I'm I'm down with that. I actually prefer like a couple of smaller presents that are kind of a bit more thoughtful. So I need to go get his presents, but everyone else is done. I'm gonna go now and film this video. I hope you enjoyed another day coming with me in New York. If you wanna see more, don't forget to turn those notifications on because YouTube is a bitch and subscribe if you're not already. See you in the next one.